Hey guys, welcome back. All right, just want to make a really quick video here. I just woke up. I'm gonna do this before it gets too late in the day. Um, I've been scanning all these things with this Revo Point Pop scanner, and I'm trying to get enough skills up and get enough little clips to do a, a, a reasonable review. But one tip that I wanted to give beforehand is if you get a scanner, it probably works with all 3D scanners. Um, when you're scanning a broad surface, like I'm scanning these stormtrooper parts here, and there's all these broad surfaces, don't have much detail. Um, it's easy for a scanner to kind of get lost in these areas. Now, cat's going nuts over there. Um, they give you these little scanning tracking stickers, which work great, but they don't give you too many of them, and they're surprisingly expensive to get replacements. So I looked online to find a pack, uh, pack of them, and they're not cheap, and I was like, well, I don't know, there's something special about these that I don't, I don't know. But I was like, there's got to be another thing I can use instead of these little stickers, because I don't have a lot of these, but I've got a lot of stuff to scan. So I went to Walmart, walked around, and just thinking, what could I use? I went to the um, like office supply section, and they had these uh, color coding labels. They're three quarter inch round stickers. And let me pull one out here. Goes my alarm, of course, during my video. So they look like this, little little round guys, and they work great, just as is. They actually work surprisingly well. Um, but the price is a fraction, a fraction of what those little tracking stickers cost. Uh, and another thing, I think this is a uh, thousand eight labels, one thousand and eight labels. Uh, I think it was about four bucks for this pack which is really good deal. And I decided to cut them like this. So I, I cut the cut them into strips so that each little one is like a, a little half circle here. Now, in my brain, I don't know if this is accurate, but it makes sense to me that something with an edge is going to show more orientation than a circle. So, you know, if, if your scanner gets into an area and there's only one, if, if it's a weird shape, the scanner's more likely to be able to keep track of the angles, which I think is good. Another bonus to cutting them up like this is that this little excess paper here uh, in between the stickers, these little guys, also work as tracking markers. So not only do you have <laughs> the little label stickers, but all the little leftover paper in between the stickers also works. So when I was scanning these Stormtrooper parts, when I was scanning the inside, which you can see I already stickered them all up, and you can see I've got, I've got the half circles and the excess remnants here. And on an area like this, it's a good example along here, where it's real smooth, it just has a line. If I was tracking it here and I'm moving this across the tracker, it kind of starts to lose where it's at. So those little guys seem to help. So let's do... A little demo here. I'll see if I can do this on screen. Uh, zoom. There we go. All right. I'm going to look at my laptop while I do this. Hopefully it makes some sense. Um, so I think it's set up to go here. So if I hit the space bar, it should start my scan. There we go. We've got the countdown. We've got the scanner here. I'm going to be over here. Uh, I lost track right away. Let's see if I get it back. Come on. There it goes. Okay. So you can see it is scanning. And it's picking up all the angles real nice. And going pretty quick. I'm not even the best distance here. And I'm going a little fast, but you get the point here. Camera is getting bumped by my cat. And we'll call it there and I'll hit, there we go. So, this is what we've got right now. My little scrolly wheel is fighting me. So this is perfect. Not embarrassing at all. Let's put the scanner down here. My scrolly wheel on my mouse is like, I'm not doing this right now. Um, so we'll just say stop. And I'm going to hit complete. Boop. I'm going to go over all of this uh, properly here soon, but I just want to show these stickers. Um, let's set this to the side. And 
point cloud fusing. There it is. Okay. So we zoom back over. Part is complete. Now again, I did a quick scan, so there's some a couple holes in it. But you can see that overall, really nice. Now one thing is if I say make this a mesh, I can say close holes and it'll close all these. This isn't typically how I do that. So I'd actually spend a little more time scanning it, but I figured uh, this would be a cool trick to show these guys. Because before I was using these stickers, I was trying to scan these parts and I was just having uh, a lot of issues. Not because of the scanner, just because the surface was so smooth that the scanner would get lost. But once I added these stickers, you saw how quick I did that. I usually would take about three times that amount of time to scan each part, maybe even longer just to be really careful. Um, but it helps tremendously. So yeah, <laughs> label stickers. Give them a shot. Let me know how they go. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you kids soon. Bye!